عن موضوع very important about environmental pollution as a possible source of female infertility of male infertility in Egypt. The possible synergistic effect of gossip oil, a component of cotton seed oil and schizomyces mansoni on the male reproductive organs in experimentally infected mice. This is the cotton seed on the cotton. Gossip oil is a yellow polyphenolic compound isolated from the seeds, roots, and stems of the cotton plant. It accounts for about 1% of cotton seed dry weight. In the plant, it acts as a natural defensive agent against predators provoking infertility in insects. Crude, un crude unrefined cotton seed oil contains considerable amount of gossip oil, up to 750 milligram per 100 milliliter. The three key steps of refining, bleaching, and deodorization in producing finished oil act to eliminate this gossip oil level. But unfortunately, human consumption may be a real risk in countries where crude cotton seed oil is used extensively for cooking, like in Egypt, where gossip oil toxicity is highly expected. Less commonly, human gossip oil toxicity could be induced through consumption of meat and milk of high producing dairy cows with high cotton seed meal intake for long periods of time. Toxicity of gossip oil on animals has been reported on various organs. It can lead to damage of gastrointestinal tract, kidney, heart, liver, and respiratory system, especially trachea. Regarding the reproductive system, gossip oil has toxic effect on the male reproductive system, leading to infertility and to less extent on the females inducing irregular cycles and direct embryo toxicity. In China, Africa, and Brazil, this, uh, this drug, the gossip oil, was tried as a male contraceptive, as some sort of non-surgical vasectomy. Schizotomyces mansoni is a considerable chronic human health problem in Egypt, which can affect the male genital organs either by egg embolization or antigenic deposition. The last two decades in Egypt showed an increase in the infertility rates in males, which drew the attention of many researchers to find out the possible exogenous pollutants affecting such condition. However, the etiological factors that may be incriminated in male infertility remain unknown in 75% of cases. In rural areas in Egypt, over, over the last decade, there was marked change in dietetic habits with increased consumption of cottonseed oil that is included in crackers and fried food. In addition, there is high rate of immigration from rural to urban areas where fast food became very common. Therefore, it was considered that there is a common association between schizomal infection and gossipol intake through increased consumption of cottonseed oil. Whether this synergism play a role in enhancing male infertility or not, this is a matter that needs evaluation. The aim of the present work was to study the effect of gossip oil as one of food pollutants and schizomyces mansoni on the male reproductive organs in experimentally infected animals. In a trial to clarify the possible synergism between schizomyces mansoni and exposure to gossip oil, which both are common in Egypt and their inhibitory effect on the male infertility. Material and methods, 130 male Swiss albino mice were used in this study where they were classified into four groups. Group one received gossip oil only for four weeks. Group two infected with schizoma mansoni and didn't receive gossip oil. Group three mice infected with schizoma mansoni and received gossip oil four weeks starting from the eighth week post infection. And group uh, four is control mice, non-infected, non-gossip oil treated. Mice were sacrificed at weekly interval after gossip oil intake and post schizodoma infection for four weeks. The testes epididymis were removed from each animal and their weights were recorded. They were processed for histopathological, immunohistochemical, and electromicroscopical examinations. Regarding the weight of testes and epididymis, it has been found that in group three, those uh, mice which, uh, are, which were uh, schizodoma infected and received gossip oil, there is maximum reduction in the weight of epididymis and testes, reaching about maybe more than third of the uh, normal weight on 
group four. Regarding histopathological examination, this is in the control uh, group, which is not infected, not treated. This is the, the normal seminiferous tubules, which showing all successive stages of spermatogenesis. This is spermatogonium, and then primary and secondary spermatocytes, and in the middle, it will be the sperms. This is the coda epididymis, showing high concentration of spermatozoa in normal mice, testes of mice. In group one, which received only gossypol, this is the seminiferous tubules, one week post, uh, post gossypol, there is no significant changes. But two weeks after gossypol, it shows exfoliation of germ cells from the epithelium and start of vacuolization, pycnosis, and disconnection of the junction. Three weeks after gossypol intake, there is acute degenerative changes with uh, the lumen full of cellular debris. Four weeks post gossypol intake, there is deformed seminiferous tubules, which were separated from each other by wide interstitial spaces with apparent diminished layers of spermatogenic cells. The number of Sertoli cells was decreased. In group two, which are schizoma infected mice only without gossypol, there is no marked changes regarding the histopathological examination of testes, and uh, there was also no granuloma formation was found at all. But 12 weeks post-infection, there is a slight decrease in the thickness of the germinal epithelium lining of the seminiferous tubules and with normal Sertoli cells. The marked changes with appeared in group three, which, are, which were schizoma infected and gossypol treated. As two weeks post gossypol intake, it has been shown that there is marked elongation of the seminiferous tubules. Three weeks post gossypol intake, there is degenerative changes in the germinal epithelium lining, such as vacuolization, disruption, and even severe destruction. Four weeks after gossypol, there is distorted, elongated seminiferous tubules with the number of spermatogonia are decreased. No sperms were detected at all in the lumen. Vacuolization was mostly recorded in the lumen. And the number of sertoli cells was decreased. Regarding immunohistochemical examination for detection of uh, schizosoma antigen in the tissue by using peroxidase antiperoxidase technique, it has been found that in schizosoma infected groups with a group two or three, it has been shown there is marked deposition of schizosoma antigen in the interstitial tissue of seminiferous tubules. The coda epididymis also showing marked deposition between the smooth muscle fibers. In group three, also there is marked elongation in the seminiferous tubules with the deposition of the schizosoma antigen. Regarding electromicroscopical examination, in group one, which received gossypol only, examined four weeks after gossypol intake, there is the spermatogonia showing indented nuclei with cytoplasmic vacuole and secondary lysosomes. In group three, receiving gossypol and they were schizosoma infected mice, four weeks post gossypol, there is the spermatogonia showing secondary lysosomes and dilated rough endoplasmic reticulum and the spermatocytes showing severely destroyed mitochondria. Also the Sertoli cells in the same group showing dilated rough endoplasmic reticulum and destroyed also mitochondria and there is increase in the electron density granules and the primary and spermatocytes around the Sertoli cells showing severely destroyed mitochondria. It can be concluded from the present study that although schizomesis mansoni can affect the male organs by antigen deposition, but it is not a major cause for male infertility, while gossypol is a major culprit where cotton seed oil is used. Acting together, these two culprits exert a synergistic effect on male fertility. Therefore, gossypol should be handled more cautiously. The usage of cottonseed oil in snacks should be limited, and those field factory men who have contact with cotton should be more careful. Industrial quality control is needed for better refinement of cottonseed oil, which is widely used in Egypt, to assure a safe content of gossypol. In addition, using crude gossypol for male contraception in Egypt is not recommended because its synergism with schistosomiasis infection may render its effect irreversible. Thank you very much.